What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy A. That's Aaron, and today we are talking about Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. Yes, yes, yes. The game that I made a made a video about before in the past. It wasn't long. It was about a few minutes long, and I really want to talk up on it because yo, they just announced it. You know, there's there's been an official trailer, and there's a lot of things that have been circling the community, if I do say so. So we're gonna break that down in this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, obviously just let me know. Without further ado, let's talk about Storm Connections. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so Storm Connections. You're probably thinking, Aaron, what is Storm Connections? So after viewing the trailer, the, the, actually, you know, before we even talk about what Storm Connections is, I will admit I was very disappointed with the trailer. I thought it was very funny, and I really wasn't fully surprised that they're basically making a whole new game and combining the Storm 1 to Storm 4 together and cutting some of the fights out so it could be more fluent and more put together. Now the only difference is that they say they're going to add in some more story, uh, specifically Boruto story, but at the same time, this game just kind of screams out to me DLC. It, it feels like it could be, the, it could have been a DLC like how Road to Boruto was. But anywho, so there was a trailer that came out yesterday, right? Everyone saw it. Basically, it just showed you a lot of the same stuff that we've been seeing throughout the Storm series. Except for the end. At the end, they start showing things that we haven't seen. For example, Sasuke, Sakura, and Sarada have a team ultimate together now, which is pretty cool. I think that's pretty dope. Next, they showed us the two new characters that are coming to the game, Indra and Ashura. And honestly, they, they look kind of clean. I ain't gonna lie to you. They look kind of clean. And it really had me feeling some type of way, though, because it made me think to myself, like, man, so you're telling me I'm paying $60, $70 for basically the game that I've been having just with one team ultimate and two DLC characters? Like, that makes no sense. But I really sat down and thought about it, like, hey, this is just the first trailer. I remember when back when Naruto Storm 3 was announced, they didn't have any characters any differently like that. But as the, get, as the days progressed, they are dropping new, tra uh, new trailers. For all the Jinchuriki, they had all their own trailers as they were being announced. Storm, uh, the Sound Ninja 4 were announced for Storm, uh, for Storm 4 for their DLC, and so on and so forth. So I do think that we are going to get something clean, but just right now for my initial reaction, I was very much let down. Also, I'm going to be putting some screenshots up on screen of the characters, so you know what I'm saying, so you all have something to look at as I talk about this game. Also, in case if you guys did not know, the game drops 2023, so we'll get it this year. So typically when it comes to Bandai Namco and them releasing anime games, I used to get the Storm series like crazy, like back to back to back to back. And normally they used to drop them in fall, not fall, like February or a little bit towards the summer. So I wouldn't be surprised, but hey, worst comes to worst, we probably get at the end of the year, who knows. If you guys go to Best Buy's official website, I'm gonna put the screenshot up on the screen. It has the picture of the game and it has the overview and the features and stuff. So let's read it aloud. So it says overview. Celebrate the 20, 20th anniversary of Naruto's anime debut with Naruto X Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections, the next entry in the blockbuster Ultimate Ninja Storm series, which has sold more than 27 million units worldwide. Features, characters. This game has the largest roster of beloved characters to play as in any uh, play as in any Ultimate Ninja Storm game in the past. New additions include the brothers who started the legendary ninja clashes, Ashura and Endura Otosuki. Stay tuned for more playable characters. Story for the first one, uh, for the first time, one game relive selected scenes from Naruto's childhood until his final battle with Sasuke through anime scenes to in game battles. Players of the past Naruto Storm games can see it all with updated graphics, plus, experience a, nor a new Boruto Story exclusive game. Now, with that, like I said, I'm not really gonna count this thing as an L because they do have some time to really, like, really solidify it to us, like, hey, th we're doing something new with this, right. I think one of the, so this is what I would say for them to make the game better, right? This is Aaron's segment right here where Aaron talks about what would make this game feel like it's worth the money, right? Number one, I want there to be new features or previous features that was in the game. For example, they used to have side combos in the Storm series. They took out the side combos, which was, which was really a bummer because I really did love the side combos. I added up some variety. All we have is neutral down to up, and I, I'm not too fond of that. I also think that they should bring back every single feature that they had in the game previously, right? 
That includes instant awakenings. Um, I remember when they had custom rank matches, when they had the custom cards, all that stuff. And the reason I say that is because I feel as though if this is going to be like the final Kumbaya and like that's it, you should bring everything into your game so we can be able to customize it and be like, hey, you know what? Uh, I want to do a rank match, but let me turn off instant awakening. I want to do a rank match, I want to leave on custom rank match cards. Like, like that was cool. We used to grind for those cards and stuff like that. I wanted to bring back the customization. I want the customization to be as A1 as it used to be. Now it's just kind of like, you know, you get one little black back bling or something. It's nothing crazy. But back in like Storm Generations or Storm 3, I can't remember. Someone's going to remind me in the comment section. You used to deck your character out. Like, you could put, like, a mask on your character, a necklace on your character, stuff in your character's hands and backs. Like, you could literally like a whole new character. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was pretty clean. I would want them to bring that back into the game because it's just like, yo, you're adding, you guys were adding so much variety into the game that it was just like, man, like, that's clean. The next thing that I would want them to add also, which probably might be difficult to get a hold of, is the wall battles, right? Us fighting on walls and clashes. So for the wall battles, if you're going to include Naruto Ninja Storm 1 in your game, you're obviously going to have the storm battles in uh, the wall battles in that game. I feel as though they should bring that back. A community has been crying for it for a minute, and I think that with it being released on the newer consoles, it really could handle it. I think that would be really clean. Shinobi Striker does it well, but too, at the same time, Shinobi Striker isn't built the same way as Naruto Storm at all. But still, though, it was really it's, it's really clean in Shinobi Striker because at least in Shinobi Striker, we have to climb walls and stuff like that. It's very fluent. I think that they can make something like that work. They would just have to tweak a little bit. Jutsu Clashes, everybody's been asking for that. Like, easily. Everybody's been asking for that. If they bring this back, bro, this would be one of the one of the biggest reasons why I pre-order this game. Bring back Jutsu Clashes. I remember in Storm 2, if you and Itachi threw shurikens at the same time, you guys had a shuriken clash. I think that's that was really clean. And I think that if you want to turn that off, that should be an option online as well. Like, hey, I want to fight online, but I want to do Jutsu Clashes. Like, a lot of anime games kind of have that feature where they can select what they want in their rank matches. Like, in JoJo, they have a feature where you can turn off Easy Beat, which is basically auto combos. In Xenoverse 2, you're able to turn off people's, um, uh, which we could take off people's, like, Super Souls and advanced skills and stuff like that. I think that that would benefit the Storm series a lot if they brought those two things back. Because, like, yo, like, you guys are sleeping on a banger. Like, truly. I also found out that when it comes to this game, there is going to be, apparently, I'm just saying apparently, there's apparently going to be 60 frames per second. Now, I, I can't I can't confirm or deny it, because, like, you know what I'm saying, people are basically getting this information from, like, websites like BestBuy.com, Walmart.com, and most of those places don't really know what's going on in the game. They're just throwing some generic stuff that they found. Sometimes they tweak the words and it, it makes the community bigger than what it is. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think Naruto Storm Connections has a lot of potential. I think that starting off with Endura Otosuki and Ashura Otosuki was a good call. Now they just need to go the extra mile. For Boruto, I feel as though they need to add in. By the time I feel like this game will be done, but uh, honestly, I feel like it will be, uh, be a stretch to get. I want to see the G. I want to see the Ishiki arc. I really want that so badly. I, I want that. I want some road to Bo road to Naruto stuff, right? Uh, Naruto the last stuff. I want the boss battle Naruto on the moon. You know what I'm saying? Like I want those kind of things. We need those kind of things in the game for us to really feel like this is a full brand new game. And I, and I honestly, bro, we need to have at least at least like 20 new characters. And I know everybody's thinking like, yo, Aaron, 20 new characters, like that's insane. Bro, Naruto is a big ass franchise, bro. They brought in Lars from Tekken for Storm 2. I think that they could sit down and really think, hey, let's let's think of 20 new characters that we can add into this game. I don't want no reskins. I don't want no half ass characters. Like I want 20 new characters. A minimum. That's all I asked for. You got stuff from uh, part one Naruto, you got stuff from Shippuden, you got stuff from The Last, you got stuff from Boruto, you got Boruto the movie, like, the, the sky's the limit when it comes to them. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, enough of me ranting, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for real, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are for Naruto Storm Connections, do y'all love it, do y'all hate it, y'all think it's gonna be ass, y'all think it's gonna be gas, like, just let me know, man. And until next time, peace out.